There once was a young girl named Brooke who had a face from a fairy tale book. How could a girl of her years cause such wolf calls and leers? Because it was her mother for Brooke they mistook. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brooke's mom, Terry. Join Brooke and me every weekday at four on the Brooke Shield Show. There's controversy with people like Speaker of the House Representative Tip O'Neill. I mean, I'll step down if that's what the uh, majority of the party wants. I don't think they do. What the Democrats have always needed was uh, good leadership, old-fashioned leadership, and politics, and uh, I can provide that. Brooke, don't do that. Ask Mr. O'Neill another question, dear. Tip, that's a really stupid name. Do you mind if I call you Tip Toenail? Tip Toenail. No, you can call me whatever you want. What the hell does that have to do with what I've been saying? I don't know. There's our special one-on-one -on -one segment with stimulating guests like Kirk Douglas. Brooke, sit down. Sit up straight. So, um, you're an actor, right? I guess I never heard of you. Oh, don't be silly. I told her all about you, Kirk. Well, uh, Brooke, I uh, made quite a few motion pictures. Perhaps you've seen some of them. Of course she has. Spartacus, Paths of Glory, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Take those out, young lady. I'll tell you, Kirk, kids are nothing but trouble. That is, until you get the first residual check. <laughs> well, at least you had a girl. I had nothing but boys. Is Michael Douglas your son? Yes, he is. Woo, I did. Watch what you say, young lady. I'll say whatever I like. It's my show. And you're my daughter. Yeah, well, I'm not your daughter. I'm your ticket to ride. You watch your tongue. Kirk, what on earth would you do with a child like this? I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd take her and put her across my knee. Then I'd give her a good, long, hard spanking right across the derriere. And, of course, a song or two by Brooke herself. That's the Brooke Shield Show, here on SCTV. Turn her on. She'll do more than that for you. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring John Candy. Joe Flaherty. Eugene Levy. Andrea Martin. Rick Moranis. Catherine O'Hara. And Dave Thomas. Television like you've never seen it before. This is the SCTV Television Network. doing messing with my parking space? Oh, sorry, Mr. LaRue. We got orders from Mr. Caballero. This isn't your spot anymore. Why? What'd I do? Well, word is you went over budget on your last movie of the week. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Went over budget, did I? And no more painting on that sign. What a jerk. I heard that. <laughs> uh, morning, Mr. LaRue. Morning. Uh, Mr. LaRue. What? Um, you got to sign in. Oh. You didn't sign in when you came in. I know, I know. I'm one of the rules. I don't make them. I just bend them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. LaRue. What? Uh, you didn't put the time. You oh, have to uh, uh, write on, in the time Russ. that you check in. Can't you do that? Do you want a bite of my sandwich? No. Sure, so good. It's cheese and cucumber. No. Oh, uh, Mr. LaRue. Yes, Gus. Um, did you get that uh, shirt that you had? Remember, remember you said you are going to get me that shirt that you had promised me? What shirt? Um, Hawaiian shirt. It's uh, a Hawaiian shirt, that sharp Hawaiian shirt from that, um, Oh, it was a Hawaiian movie you right. did that bombed that, that thing that, that you did? Bombed? Stop it. Get out of my life. You understand me? Get out of my life. <laughs> Get out of my life. You kill me, Mr. LaRue. <laughs> oh, Mr. LaRue, you signed in on the signed out column. You, you, Mr. LaRue, you checked in on the, uh, um, 
Oh, great. Pelliero. What? Pelliero. Um, Achilles, is it? <laughs> Have a seat. Ah, uh, Achilles. I want to see Caballero right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Caballero is only seeing people who have ideas for pilots. Pilots? All right, I'll wait. Give me a coffee. No. <laughs> what are you looking at? Move over. Creeps. I heard you went over budget in Polynesian town. No, you did, did you? Yeah. Well, look, pal, people don't care about budgets. Not if they like the film. Well, the word I heard is, nobody liked that thing. My own damn self included. Blacks didn't like it, huh? Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, I got a pilot here. Uh, it's a science fiction thing. Starheads. Starheads? Starheads. You heard of Coneheads, haven't you? Yeah. Well, this is like the same thing. Only it's coming from a heavy galaxy thing. Starheads come down, messing with white people. Then they meet this pimp. Then this cop tries to fritz them. And that's when they bring out the laser beam and they fry them. It's really funny. Hope you got good production values. Oh, I got great production values. Crowd scenes, massive scenes, neutron bombs. The whole works. Good for you. <laughs> the hell are you looking at? Shove off. Sure, we'll enjoy working with each other, uh, Mr. Puchero. And give some thought to that time slot. Come on, honey, we just made a sale. Well, let's see now who's next. Hello, Mr. Caballero. <laughs> uh, Mr. Habib, I'll see you. Habib. Damn, man, I thought you rode a wheelchair. Oh, no, I just used that for respect. Come on in. I'll be going with What you. have we here? Uh, a pilot here, Starheads. Starheads? Oh! Oh! Sit. What are you looking at? Give me some ice. No. Oh, no! Coming soon, 3D horror on FCTV. Go out and find me a human body. These are my fellow stewardesses on International Flight 507. This is Tina, Juja, and Ava. And our flight has been canceled. And our car broke down. Do you think we could stay over for the night? Dr. Tongue's 3D House of Stewardesses, coming soon. <laughs> could I have a coffee? Sure. Now watch this. This is an expensive crane shot. See how high the camera's gonna get here? That's a crane. They rented an expensive crane for this, and it, it brings the camera up off the ground to shoot down on them, and there's no reason for it, absolutely no reason that you need a crane for that last shot. Could have put a good old-fashioned camera right on the ground and shot it. It would have been a lot cheaper by the... Oh, there's Vic Hedges, a fine performance, incidentally. Uh, but as I was saying, it would have been a lot cheaper. Crane shots are just too expensive. And so you don't do that. You tell your Greek friends that if they're gonna try... All right, Caballero. I've been sitting out there all day. I want to see you right now. I got a lot of projects that need your approval, and I want that parking space back. All right, Achilles, uh, get out of here. I'll talk to you later, all right? I'll get in touch with you. So, oh, by the way, where can I get in touch with you? Old fire hall. Oh. Why did you, where did he say what? The old fire hall. The old fire hall. Where do you find these people? Never mind where I find them. Can I sit down? No. <laughs> How about a drink? No. Now, look, LaRue, let me tell you something. This time you really went and did it with that Polynesian town. You and your crane shots, you drove that budget sky high. Why, you almost single-handedly bankrupted SCTV. Yeah? Well, I happen to know a lot of people like that show. A lot of people liked it. I got a good feedback on it. Not the critics. Kidman, he slammed me. Slammed you good. Well, what does he know? Well, look, Johnny, I, I don't want to do this, but... I'm canceling all your projects with SCTV. What? They're finished. No more projects. You're joking. <laughs> what are you going to put on the air? I... I've got a lot of things, Johnny. Uh, quite a few things. Uh, this, for instance. Starheads? Yes, <laughs> starheads. Oh, Mr. Caballero, you're fine, Joe. <laughs> you're joking. <laughs>
Please, Mr. Caballero, say you're joking. I love you, Mr. Caballero. I love you, Mr. Caballero. You're the greatest owner in the world. I love working at SCTV. I'll be wrong if you slap me. Stop it! You think stop. all my enterprises they'll go bankrupt? I'll be ruined. All Mr. right, Caballero, please, will you stop it? Stop, please. <laughs> Give me a job, man. Please, stop, stop it. <laughs> I hate to see a full man lover. Now, look, I'll give you one more chance. Thank you, Mr. Caballero. I have a show here called Street Beef. I yeah. want you to do. Yes. What, what do I do? Eat a lot of beef on the street or no, something? No, you don't eat beef. I want you to take one camera, yes. one microphone. Yes. No cranes. No cranes. I want you to go out and talk to the people on the street. Yes. Find out what they're... What their problems are, what their what, what their beef is. Yes. Oh, what a clever idea, Mr. Caballero. Street beef. Street beef. I'll do it, Mr. Caballero. I'll do the best show you've ever seen on SCTV. Good. Mr. Caballero, I can't thank you enough. And it won't cost you a lot of money either. Thank you, Mr. Caballero. Boy, you're telling me it's not gonna cost me a lot of money because there's no budget on the show. What? I'm not giving you a budget, LaRue. Now look, I'm giving you one camera, one microphone. And you do the rest. That's impossible. It's your last shot. I'll do it. <laughs> so. Margo. Yes, I, I want you to get me Freddie Severman on the phone. I think we've got a real winner here. One microphone, one camera. Well, only an idiot could do that. Johnny! Oh, world. <laughs> greatest joke. I'm not in the mood for a joke, all right? It's great. I'm busy right it's now. It's a great joke. <laughs> well, I, I, I could use a laugh right now. <laughs> There's this old, old fisherman, right? Gets up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. to go fishing, mm -hmm. right? Not 4, I'm sorry, 5. 5 a.m., okay? Every morning, he gets up. 5 a.m., he yep. goes, not, not, I'm sorry, once a week. One, every Saturday, he gets up at 5 to go fishing, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now he's out for three hours. At 9 o'clock, he comes back. Uh -huh. yep. No, he gets up at 6. 6, 6 a.m. every morning, right? 9, he comes back, the whole town's in church. Now, no, I'm sorry, it's not Saturday. Every Sunday. Every... It's not funny. <laughs> Oh, Morris. Hey, come here. Morris, come here. Come here, you weasel. Come here when I talk to you. Come here, you weasel. Oh, oh. you wanted me, Mr. LaRue? Oh, yes, I wanted you. That's $50,000 worth of monitors that you Never just mind. Ran. Never mind it, you little weasel. <laughs> the name's Morris. William Morris. And you're a weasel in my books. You screwed me up in Polynesian town. What? You said that crane shop was gonna cost 10 big ones. I thought you meant 10 bucks. Ah! You spent less time worrying about the catering and more time worrying about production values. Use your mouth, you little weasel. Okay, okay. Anything you want. Name it. All right. I got a new show and I want a crane shot. Hey, a big crane okay. shot. <laughs> Caballero. Lero one, Mike, one camera, and that's it. Oh, sure. <laughs> we were talking about something else, entirely different. Fun, <laughs> Mr. Caballero. <laughs> it was nice like a bet. <laughs> what a great guy, huh? He sure is. You don't! All right, you little weasel. Okay, okay, what do you want? I'll give you anything. Big production values, you understand that? I can't give you a crane. My hands are tied, don't Your you? Your hands are gonna be oh. broken. Oh, okay, all right. You can't give me a crane. You get me something big, you okay. understand that? It's a deal, something big. You'll be pleased, I promise you. All right, I'd better be. You will. Don't weasel around on me either. Oh. It better not cost me a lot of money. Okay. This is an expensive jacket, you know. Forget it, LaRoe. The answer's no. Coming soon, it's Mel's Rock Pile with the Rock Pile Dance Contest Finals. And Mel's special guest, Richard Harris. Why, well, Mr. Harris, it's such a thrill to have you on Mel's Rock Pile. And, uh, you know, I'm one of your biggest fans because I've seen just about every film you've ever done. You know, I, I think my all-time particular favorite was the one you did in Sweden, A Man Called Horst. Because I saw that... Horse. I'm... I'm begging your pardon? A Man Called Horse! A man... A Man Called Horse. I mean, what's the difference when these big stars make? Did, did, did Brando make 
three million for 12 day shooting and 12 million for three day shooting. What's the difference? It's my business. I know what I'm talking about. You don't have a clue. You don't know nothing. Ma, ma, hang on for a sec. What? Larry, Johnny LaRue is here to see you. Johnny LaRue, all right, all right, Elaine, send him in and get rid of my mother. She's on two. Thanks. Johnny LaRue. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Mr. Uh, Siegel or Mr. Larry. Mr. Siegel, like Mr. Larry, Mr. Siegel, Mr. Larry. He doesn't know what to call me. You know what to call me, Mr. Siegel or Mr. Larry? Why? Because you didn't stick your head in the door for two months. You didn't come in here. Hang on. What? Larry Morris Plant is on three. Morris, I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? How are you, Larry? I'm fine. What? Go. Larry, if you still want to do that transfer on a stereo mix down for all those prints that are going out next week, it'll cost another million. So do it. Well, it's... It's a lot of money. More, more, what is it? Your money? Go do. You don't ask. You just do. Elaine, no more calls, okay? And, and get me uh, what? What? Uh, give me a tuna. Did I have tuna yet? Yeah. Give me a cottage cheese platter today. What, what do you want? Do they have any cheeseburgers? What am I a waiter? What do I work there? <laughs> Elaine, get get Larue a, a cheeseburger and something to drink. I got drinks here. Sit down. Thank you. So what do you want? Look. Uh... Seagull, I'm in a little hot water with this Polynesian town. Hot water? You're in Polynesian town. Hot water? You know why you're in hot water? You're in hot water because you, you, you didn't come in here. You didn't come in here uh, two weeks ago and you say, Mr. Seagull, Mr. Larry, Mr. Seagull, I need some help. I need some help with the editing. I need some help with the script writing. I need some help with the casting. I, need, I don't know who's going to be. You know why? That's why you turned out to be surprised because the movie was nothing. You know the only good thing in the whole movie? You know what the only good thing was? That crane shot right at the end. I saw a picture of the crane shot. The people walking all over there, that looked good. If the whole thing had been as good as that last shot, you would have had a picture. Yeah. But no, I mean, at least you know. At least you know how to have a good ending. Look, Siegel. Uh, Larry, uh, <laughs> I need some money. I need some money oh, for this uh, project. Oh, right? oh, all right. All right, you need money. I need some bucks, yeah. All right, LaRue, if I give you money, what do I get? I'll give you the uh, executive producer title. Elaine, get me Guy Caballero. So what's this show? It's a... Uh, it's a small show uh, it's called Lunchtime Street Beef. I only got one camera and one microphone. That's well, it. What? That's great. What are you trying to do, Ben? Hurry, you go and you talk to the people on the street. It's terrific. It's a brilliant idea. Whose idea is it? Well, it was my idea. I, I kind of thought it was brilliant myself. With a what? Mr. Guy Caballero on one. Guy. Hi, Larry. How you doing? Fine. Listen, Guy. What's the story on this uh, LaRue's idea, this street beef thing? Well, he's taking credit for that. That lousy, no good lion chick. Well, uh, guy, 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 listen. Is, is it a good show? Should I put some money into it or what? Uh, let me tell you something right now, Larry. This is LaRue's last shot. He's out of here if he doesn't pull this one off. He's on his own. Now, if you want to jump on a sinking ship, that's fine with me. But I'll tell you something. If you do, uh, uh, I'll never... All right, I, 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 guy, listen, I, I gotta go. I got another call. I'll call you. We'll, we'll, we'll have some sushi. Listen, look, Larry, Larue, Larue, uh, Larue, 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 Larue. Look, know what You know, I think the best thing, you go out there, you go there with one camera. You don't need me. You don't well, need I, I, me. I, I, I don't know. For I, pictures, I don't know for one money. camera. I can't walk the best thing, you don't need money for one camera. I can't walk with one camera, I'm too busy, but just do what you did in the other one. Have a good ending on it. You know, call me. Well, thanks for your help, Siegel. All right, just, you know, get, go, go. I'll be back again. Elaine, cancel the cheeseburger. No, you know what, Elaine? I'll have it, too. <laughs> and now, the program you've been waiting for, Johnny LaRue's Street Beef. It's 12 noon. I'm Johnny LaRue, and welcome to Lunchtime Street Beef. <laughs> You know, this is a show that gives you a chance to expose your beef to the public. Well, I, I mean, I ask you a question and uh, you get a chance to answer on the hot issues of today. <laughs> Let me just clear one thing up right now. I'm not gay. I never have been gay. That rumor's been spreading like wildflower and I just want to nip it right here in the butt right now. Damn, I even saw my name in one of those cheap expose tabloids, you know? Along with 149 other known bisexuals. Well, it's a lie. Take that from Johnny LaRue. <laughs> I like broads a lot. <laughs> well, today's subject was supposed to be uh, John Cassavetes, filmmaker or just jerking around. <laughs> People at SCTV, they felt that uh, wouldn't have enough general interest, so they wanted me to talk about nude male dancers. <laughs> a subject that frankly sickens me. Women are the only ones who should dance nude on stage. <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> Let's find out what the man on the street thinks. Let's talk to him now. Usually, Melonville is a beehive of activity right now, 12 noon. 
They're probably all munching away at a beef and booze somewhere near here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminiscent of my old show, La Rue by Night. <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen today. Let's, uh, let's go down the street there. I uh, think I see somebody way down. No? Well, let's try. Maybe we'll find somebody way down there and uh, let's go. Move the camera. Let's go. Well, there's usually a lot more people on the street. Uh, I'm sure of that. I don't understand it. This plant shop is usually jammed with people. People love to buy plants here. I love to talk about them, too. I don't know how anyone can do a show with one microphone and one camera. Don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy doing it, though. But <laughs> that little weasel better show up with some production values. This is getting ridiculous. I don't know where anyone is in this lovely town of ours. <laughs> they better show up soon. Oh. oh, wait a minute. There's some, there's some noise over there. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Hey, hey, you, get behind the barrier. What are you talking about? What's going on here? They're taping a show, Johnny LaRue's Street Beef. You moron, I'm Johnny LaRue. Street Beef is my show. How am I going to talk to these people? You got to back here. They're supposed to be on the street. Hey, so you're LaRue? That's right. I, I saw Polynesian Town. Did you like it? That stunk. What do you mean it stunk? Wait a minute, what? I saw it. It was really good. Hey, honky. You know, wait, wait, who are you calling a honky? He's calling you a honky. Yeah, well, you're a bum. Hold this, Wally. Who are you calling a bum? You're a bum. What do you mean I'm a bum? Hit the honky. Hit the honky. Hit the honky. That's all the time we have for today on Street Beef. Uh, good night. This is Guy Caballero inviting you to stay tuned for... Is that a crane shot? Is Maru using a crane shot there? That's a helicopter shot. That man must be demented. That's a helicopter. He went out and... Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying that uh, impressive photography there because it's the last we'll be seeing of Johnny LaRue, that's for sure. It's his last show. Bye-bye, LaRue. You don't think you can about him? Might make that. Anyway, stay tuned for some fine programming. Good old, fine old film coming up.